So here is all, all our connection setups. Connect your power supply cable, AV cable. Uh, we have connected Nandex wires to Nandex and Nandex is connected to 3R3 lights using Nandex to Gold Runner update cable and we have connected Nandex to the PC USB port. Alright, once you have connected your USB cable to the PC USB port, it should all look like this. So power supply, AV, Gold Runner should be flashing um, red and green light because there's no time if I'll flash onto yet, we'll be using JRunner in order to do all that. Alright, now that we have our Nandex wire soldered, our CR3 light uh, soldered onto our motherboard, we are ready to program our NAND. In order to do that, we'll be using JRunner software. Uh, the version we are using is this, JRunner version 02. It's in beta state and the revision is 283. Okay, let's fire it up and we'll go through the whole JRunner process. Once fired up, you will be presented with this screen. Okay, so let's just go through the whole this process here. First, what we'll do, we'll read our NAND file. Uh, what JRunner will do, uh, it will automatically, so what we'll do, we'll have two NAND. Um, it, it will read twice now, so what will happen here, uh, it will read the NAND files twice and then it will compare it just to ensure that we have a clean NAND image. Once we have a clean NAND image, we'll flash the cool runner with the timing file. Next, once we have our NAND backup ready, we'll create the ECC image and we'll just simply write that ECC image plus W16 onto our NAND and we'll have our Zell uh, that will help us get our CPU key and the DVD key. Well, in this case, only useful thing is CPU key. Once we have our CPU key, we'll create the freeboot image. And finally, we'll flash the freeboot image and we have our uh, RGH console ready. Okay, so that's the whole process for the RGH. So select your dash version, select glitch over here, number of NAND files to select your NAND type. We have Trinity. Okay. Uh, cool runner programming cable via USB. As you can see, uh, JRunner has already detected NAND X. So that's all good. Uh, so let's just start the process. So let's just read two NANDs and JRunner will automatically uh, compare them and tell us if there's any issues. So let's just do this. Okay, flash config, it's determined and it's reading the NAND file. I'm going to pause the video, I'll be back once all uh, this is all complete. So our first NAND backup is read, so JRunner is uh, doing the second read. Okay, so JRunner has uh, read two NAND files, NAND.win, and it tells you where it's saved actually. So that's the folder where it has saved both the NAND dumps and it's compared it and all the NANDs are the same. Okay, that's fine. So our first step is done. Next step is flashing the cool runner with the timing file. So simply click on flash cool runner and then select your motherboard Trinity and press OK. And you'll see uh, uh, once your uh, okay so it has uh, flashed the cool runner timing file. Now you'll see the cool runner CR3 light will only be showing uh, the red light. There is no uh, green light. Before adding the glitch image, uh, uh, these are the two switch settings. So make sure your since we are doing this uh, Trinity motherboard, so make sure this is on the slim side, and this switch is on to the program side. Next step, uh, creating the ECC image. So let's just click on create ECC and okay it's all complete uh, once we have our ECC image done 
next step is crucial make sure uh, your CR3 light switch is on to the program side and the other switch is on to the slim side so let's click on right ECC all done our generator side is almost complete next few ways um, we'll be connecting our um, our motherboard and turning it on and Zell will uh, show the CPU key and the DVD key